motherhood is full of highs. When they experience things for the first time, it's kind of like experiencing life all over again. But Ellie Zolke knows. I was really excited when my first son Graham was born. It also delivers lows. But when he was about 13 days old, things really changed for me. I had really severe postpartum depression after my first child was born. When you have really bad postpartum depression, um, is you think scary thoughts and you can't really, you feel like you can't really trust yourself and trust your mind. Did you ever want to hurt yourself or your kids? I did, I did. For me it was mostly about wanting to die and, and I think a lot of it was about just wanting to make the pain stop. She's not alone. The disorder affects about 400,000 women in the U.S. every year. Without any treatment, it could last for months or years. Postpartum depression is the most common complication of pregnancy and actually one of the leading causes of death in the first year after delivering a baby is maternal suicide. But Dr. Elizabeth LaRusso, medical director of psychiatry at Abbott Northwestern Hospital, says that could change with this new drug the FDA approved. Well, it's really exciting. It's called brexanolone. Additionally, it needs to be delivered in an inpatient medical setting in a 60-hour intravenous infusion. So women really need to be in a hospital setting and be monitored. This new medication is a synthetic form of the hormone progesterone, and it actually interacts with a neurotransmitter in the brain, works very quickly in, in a few days, and can really help women with severe depression get well. I think it's really hopeful. It's actually something that really would have been helpful for people who had a situation like mine. And I wanna be really clear that I fully recovered um, with the treatments that exist. I am okay. My big kid is a hockey goalie, so that is a whole nother experience, <laughs> being wow. a goalie mom. Two boys, ages 10 and 15. Yeah, they're really fun. She and her husband are enjoying the joys of parenting. Meanwhile, some women who participated in the clinical trial reported a change in minutes. The drug is expected to roll out in June. But here's the deal. It is expensive, and health experts hope insurance will help cover some of the cost in the future. Sharon?